Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. Welcome. What's up, Leos? What's up, my loves? We're going to do your love reading for the month of March, my loves. We're going to see what we have for you for the month of March. Okay, what is this person telepathically communicating to you? Oh, wow. We already have a card that came out here. We have 15, ego, okay? Um, but however, we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you for the month of March in regards to the person that you're around or connecting with, okay? Um, and again, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, okay? And if you have a South Node and a Capricorn, okay? So the message here from Spirit says a false sense of inter trapment being overly focused on material things negative or fear-based thoughts okay uh, again the number 15 breaks down to a number six okay so this is definitely messages from spirit from your higher self and in regards to the ego here so if this person however capricorn um, is having a battle with their ego listening to their ego rather than following their intuition or their heart space right um it will allow them to have a false sense of entrapment or feeling like they're stuck or trapped in this relationship or feeling like they're stuck or trapped in this situation that's not allowing this person Capricorn to move forward for some of you all um, in regards to your relationship or love for the month of March or vice versa Capricorn if this is how you're feeling in the space and energy during the month of March my loves but um, I want you to keep in mind that um don't overly focus on material things okay let love let wealth and abundance come towards you my loves okay um and don't allow things as this card says here to be fear-based thoughts okay don't allow your thoughts to over control you thoughts are just thoughts okay they haven't manifested yet okay so think of that keep that in your mind you have to manifest these thoughts and emotions in order to have them physically be here in the 3d realm so you can easily switch up the thoughts or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and turn it around and shift your energy and go another way capricorns or i feel like this person as well because their ego is allowing them to get in the way and possibly could allow them to get in the way in regards to this situation or this relationship or this connection capricorn that you two share with each other okay so let's get into your reading capricorn again this is intended for the month of march my loves let's see what messages spirit has for you and excuse me in advance for the table shaking as i shuffle the cards my loves okay so let's see, Spirit, what messages do we have for my lovely Capricorns? What messages, Spirit, for the month of March in regards to their person and who they're connected with, my love? What messages, Spirit? Thank you, universe. What messages do we have here for Capricorns, my Cappies? Thank you, Spirit. Well, well, well. We have the magician here. I love it, Capricorns. Aries energy. Okay, we have some of y'all could be dealing with the fire sign. All right, what other messages, Spirit? How's this person feeling towards Cappies? Earth energy towards Capricorn. Who you are, Virgo? In okay. One more card for the near future for Capricorns. Oh, we have two cards here. Thank you, Spirit. We have here is fire energy again here. Okay. I like it. Fire, which is again Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And then we have you, my loves, the queen, I'm sorry, the nine of pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. All right. I like it. I like it. So let's get some clarification here, my loves. So from the looks of it, this person 
Capricorn. Um, they definitely want to manifest this relationship, this connection that you two have. It's definitely a thought process for them. They're definitely wanting to create um, a way to make this happen with you, Capricorn. Um, but however, as far as in the 3D realm here, uh, physically, I feel like that they're in a position where they're holding back. Okay, they're not quite making the move or made a move yet with the four of energy or excuse me, the four of pentacles energy here. We know this is all about holding back. Okay, not necessarily yet um, in the energy of, you know, collaborating. Okay, which is we know the three of pentacles is all about collaborating. Thank you, spirit. Um, for some of you all, okay, I'm getting... Hmm. I'm getting an energy where there is one of you or this person that could be holding back here currently in the month of March or however. And I'm also getting that someone is willing to give the pinnacle because here what they're showing me is that however, there are three pentacles Capricorn. OK, if this is you, this is your energy that's in the chest, right? And then there's a pentacle Capricorn in your hand as if you're willingly to, uh, again, collaborate with this person or work with this individual. OK, and again, could be a fire sign or earth sign like yourself. OK, um, so we'll get more clarification in regards to that. Thank you, spirit. But this person, again, definitely wants to uh, manifest this. Um, I feel like Capricorns that you all are single, okay? Looking very um, financially stable, right? You're taking care of yourself. You've been nourishing yourself, right? Manifesting, right? Done a lot of investments in yourself, whatever that may be for you, okay? And again, this fire sign we have here, the Knight of Wands, is wanting to, you know, move towards you, right? Or make an uh, effort or make action here we know the knight of wands is all about getting up and taking action right so let's see here let's get further clarification from my capricorns what we have going on here okay as i broke the deck we have the high priestess and the eight of cups okay water energy okay pisces scorpio and count Siren. so some of you all definitely know um, and is listening to your intuition, you're definitely aware or vice versa. This person is Capricorn and there are going to be some movement here with the eight of cups. OK, there will be um, someone in this connection that will be walking away. OK, and again, walking away towards the past, walking away towards you, Capricorns or vice versa, Capricorn, you're walking towards this person in the month of March. So let's see here. Let's get further clarification. All right, Spirit, clarify the magician here. Why is the magician here for Capricorn? Ooh, yes, more fire energy, a lot of fire energy. So this is another fire and earth connection I'm feeling here. Um, so again, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries here. Um, so some of y'all are definitely wanting to manifest this new beginning um, this passionate new beginning with this individual or vice versa, Capricorn, this fire sign is wanting to definitely, um, or if it's not a fire sign, again, just a person, anyone can embody the energies, Capricorn. This person is wanting to definitely manifest this passion new beginning. We know the ones here is all about passion, okay? Um, and we know the magician is all about having all the tools, resources to make this happen. So they're in their thoughts right now. We know the ones represents thoughts, right, of how they're going to manifest this in the 3D realm, meaning physically with you, right, with making this connection. So they're using all the earth elements, right, Capricorn, to make this new beginning, to make this beginning of passion and desire that they have towards you work right and this is the past energy here so i feel like this is something that you two are aware of because the high priestess was in the deck being shown 
okay? Um, because again, one of you are wanting to give and one of you all are just kind of in the um, waiting position or not necessarily making a move just yet with the four of pentacles holding back energy. So we'll see what that is in regards to spirit. Clarify the four of pentacles here. Why is the four of pentacles here for Capricorn? And this individual here, why is the four of pentacles here spirit? Why is the four of pentacles here? The world card. Yes, this is definitely going to be a new beginning. We know the world card is all about new beginning. Um, cycles being completed. Contracts being um, signed. And new beginnings are coming about. Okay, so again, these are two cards showing a new beginning, Capricorn. And for some of you all with this fire sign or again, this person that you're connecting with, okay? There is a cycle that was completed and now there is a new passion, new beginning that is up in the horizons, my loves. Okay, I like it. All right, Spirit, can you give me more on the Four of Pentacles? Because you have the Four of Pentacles here. One is willingly and ready to start this new cycle, this new passion beginning. Give me more in regards to the Four of Pentacles, Spirit. Why is the Four of Pentacles? The High Priestess comes out again, Piscean energy. Okay. One more card for the Four of Pentacles. The Lovers, Gemini energy here. Mmm. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting, Capricorns, is that um, with this being Earth energy, okay, with the High Priestess here, this is a relationship, this is a connection where you know that it, it was definitely a new beginning coming. You can almost feel it, Capricorns, okay? And you know that a decision it was going to be needing to be made, okay? Because we have the lovers here. We know the lovers is all about making a decision in regards to this relationship, this connection, this relationship. We know the lovers is making a decision in regards to love, okay? Um, so I feel like you know that now is the time you know that this has now been a completion you know that this is a cycle that's coming towards your way in a new passion beginning as i stated here um, and you know the need of having to make a decision in regards to this person that you feel like is your soul mate your soul connection a uh, person that you can spend a partnership life with right someone that you can expand with you can grow with and that gives you passion Right? Because there's a lot of passion, fire, energy here, Capricorn. Okay. So why do we have the Knights of Wands here and the Nine of Pentacles? And so what I'm getting is this, this fire sign is on the same vibration, the same level as you. They're wanting to take the action as well with the Knight of Wands here. And I feel like you are as well, okay? I feel like uh, most of you all are single at this time or will be single, okay? You two are both very intuitive, okay? With this fire energy and the water energy here of following your intuition. Why is the Knight of Wands here, Spirit? Can we clarify the Knight of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands here? For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the Knight of Wands. The Five of Swords. Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Now, 
Now, this fire sign could be someone that has caused external conflicts around you two, okay? Give me more spirit. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords here for Capricorn? Fire energy. Again, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So this person, Capricorn, they know that they need to take action. They know that there has been a lot of external conflicts outside of them. Now, this could be other people that's been around them, that's in their household, in their life, okay, um, that has caused conflicts towards them or vice versa if this person has caused conflict towards you, Capricorn. But I feel like this is more where this person... Um, you know, they come down to the number nine. We know the number nine is all about um, wrapping up um, cycles, wrapping up, coming to an end here, right? Um, so this person is aware of, you know, things that they projected out externally that has caused conflict, right? They are definitely aware of that with the high priestess here, right? Um, and they're definitely being smart. I feel like going this next go around or you two together here is being very smart about your situation and how you come together in a relationship because you have the ace of ones here. You both are aware of what the tools you need to um, manifest, right? And some of you all may or are holding back simply or this person may could be holding back simply because, um, you know, they've dealt with conflict as we all have right um so they're just being mindful i'm hearing of how they go about you know with wanting to make this relationship work with you towards the month of march capricorn or being very mindful because they know of previous conflicts and burdens and situations that they experienced once before so with them manifesting this new passion beginning that they feel towards you and you both are aware of they're just being very mindful of that. Okay, so why do we have the... Um, oh, wow. Thank you. That came out quick. The... Uh, okay, Sue, what are you telling me? Hold on one second, Capricorn. Okay, yes, so a lot of y'all are definitely uh, single. Okay, Capricorns. Again, we have a Ten of Cups that came out here. So this is definitely someone that uh, you see yourself sharing a relationship with, a family with, with the kids here. Um, someone that you can see yourself settling down with, okay? Uh, and vice versa, this person sees themselves being able to settle down with you. Uh, they definitely have feelings for you. Again, because again, we have the passion energy here. They have a lot of passion, desire towards you. And not only they admire you, Capricorn, or vice versa, okay? They see themselves spending their life with you, having a family with you, right? They see that you're single or vice versa. In Capricorn, you see this person is single. Um, and... Honestly, with the Knight of Wands that come out here, this could be a person, again, a fire sign, however, or just an individual that comes in and out of your life. We know the Knight of Wands, they come in, they bring you that passion, desire, they have good conversations with you, they make you feel um, at your best, right? Um, they're very creative and have a good way of thinking and talking and good conversation, um, but they may could have come in and out Capricorn and caused conflicts or vice versa. Okay. But again, they now are aware again, because we have the high priestess here. We have the world card here. We know a decision is going to be made or we know a decision needs to be made here. Capricorn, I feel, but this person does see you as their happy ever after. Okay, they see you as being someone that they can, again, settle down with. Okay. I like it. Any more other messages, Spirit? Give me one more. Okay, look, they are. They say we are already on it, Capricorns. Okay, the cars are just flying out. 
everywhere. Give me one second, my loves. Wow, we have the Page of Wands, my loves. More fire energy, okay? Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, okay? As I stated, as spirit channeled here, this person admires you. You are a very, uh, whatever it is, Capricorn, you, they have the hots for you, okay? They really, you really turn them on. They turn you on. You turn each other on, Capricorn, okay? They really like, um, you know, I'm sure the way how you do things, how you conduct yourself, I'm hearing, okay? And they admire that about you and they want to have this new beginning because they're definitely wanting to manifest this. And I feel like for some of you all, this is something that's been manifested for quite a while now, okay? You two know that this is something now that's coming to this ending, okay? Because we have the nine of ones here that knows it was informed all about wrapping up endings and again we have the world card here and again we have the ten of cups that's another number for completion okay so again this relationship this connection it was something that for over time now has been going on a while i feel like for you two and here with this being in your new future this is something that's definitely going to be able to come together for you two okay minus the bullshit or minus the conflicts you know the in and out things that cause delays i feel like could have experience for you too in this relationship mm, okay thank you spirit okay my loves i'm feeling like Is those all the messages, Spirit? I feel like something else needs to be said. And as I'm looking over at the card that they're showing me here my loves a false sense of entrapment so with showing those five of swords that came out previously capricorn in your spread um that's where the five of swords comes into play those are the external energies i feel like that this person has dealt with i feel like as well capricorn um that caused delays between you two to come together to be in a relationship I feel like here in the past because they, you know, was being blocked by other people, right? People externally, even though they have these feelings for you with the Ten of Cups, with the Ace of Wands, how they want to manifest this new beginning with you. Yes, they want to have this lifetime and build a generation with you. Yes, if you're concerned of that, yes, Capricorns, that's definitely what they want to do, okay? But they're having to battle these external energies that they manifested before in their past in their life and having to understand them but with the nine of ones you know those are thoughts that they have come to a conclusion of these have been burdens towards me these are things that i manifest the wrong way or went about making decisions or mistakes with these individuals in the wrong way so again and the cause of that was the ego going off listening to their ego and not following their intuition but again i feel like with the world card and the high priestess come out in your spread this person now has gotten this epiphany now has been through this cycle and realizing that it has come to an end and because of you capricorn you all are now being able to get a better understanding of each other and where you're at in life okay yes and that's going to help clear things up for you that's going to help make things be better for you to come together and you know now actually share the energies that you two or this individual capricorn is manifesting right all right my loves well i thank you spirit because i felt like something was still missing there in my spirit so i'm glad i was able to channel that out for you capricorns and again if the reading resonated with your spirit okay don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell my loves and i will chit chat with you soon always remember capricorns your health is your wealth 
okay? And I'll see you soon, my loves. Bye-bye.